Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of February's BoxyCharm box. If you've been watching my videos for any time at all, you know that BoxyCharm is my favorite box that I receive. For those of you that may not know what BoxyCharm is, it's a beauty subscription box for $21 per month and you receive four to five deluxe, but usually full-size items. So let's go ahead, let's open up the box and see what we have. Upon opening the box, we have our card that we get for the month, and this month's theme is Kisses from BoxyCharm. It says you can forget the box of chocolates and fall in love again with your boxy charm. So let's go ahead and see what products we received this month. So the first thing that I notice is a cute nail polish by NCLA. I'm going to take it out of here. It's a really pretty polish that has pink and red heart glitter flecks in there, and they're quite large glitter flecks. So it looks as if you're probably only going to get one to two hearts um, per nail. So kind of unique not something I have in my collection so I don't know how often I will use it but maybe we'll give it a try and that retails for $16 next product I see is from Mistura and it looks like a lipstick but Maybe Mistura Beauty Solutions C2P Complexion Corrector. So it's a cream to powder complexion corrector, so concealer, rich with coconut oil and shea butter with a silky matte finish that leaves your skin hydrated and blemish free. So it instantly masks redness and broken capillaries and hides imperfection with one touch for all skin tones. So I don't usually get a lot of blemishes, but they are serious. It definitely goes in and feels instantly like a powder once you rub it into your skin. So you're not going to see that. It's definitely a good color for my skin. Although I'm not I'm not sure about the coverage. It's, so I'm not sure if I will keep this product or pass this on to a friend who may use a corrector more than I will, but that product retails for $36.99. I don't know that I would pay $36.99 for this, but came in the box. So it that product, according to the card, more than paid for itself. The next product is a facial mask by Moline and Sparrow brand I've never heard of and oh goodness it comes in kind of a little apothecary or apothecary jar I uh, I'm saying that all wrong and it's a powder so this facial mask contains a blend of powerful detoxifying clays mixed with a soothing aromatic herbs that help refine pores and provide gentle exfoliation. And this is not a full size, this is actually a deluxe size sample that retails 
this product in its deluxe size retails for $15. I don't notice any scent in its powdered form, so I always like trying new masks, and I've never used a powdered mask, so we'll give this a try and see how it works. can always use stuff for exfoliation, and your pores can never look perfect enough, right? The next item that I see is by a name I cannot pronounce, and it's Jing Ai, Jing A. So it seems like it is Asian, and it says Velvet, Velvet, Velvet Lip Shine or Velvet Shine Lip Jewel. Let me see if I can get into it. Looks to be a pink color and it's a crayon formula. I always love a good pink and it's supposed to be highly pigmented, which it is, and moisturizing with 100% uh, natural macadamia seed oil, shea butter, and jojoba seed oil. So the color is a nice bright pink. I will definitely get a lot of use of this during the summer months. But it is a very pretty color. And the last product in this month's box is a brush by Modern Minerals Duo Fiber Mini Round Brush. It's a duo fiber brush, mini rounded. It says are so soft and great just for the right amount of dusting or layering colors. So let's see. Um, it's it's soft. It is seems to be dense. The It doesn't feel like a sturdy brush. It it actually feels very similar to say my elf brushes and by that I mean the elf essential brushes. That's that's just the kind of weight and feel to it. Um it says it's retails for $15. I don't know that I would necessarily pay $15 for the brush, however, maybe it will um, be a wonderful brush. I pay a dollar to three dollars for my e.l.f. brushes and love them, so hopefully this works out really well. Uh, I will definitely give this brush a chance. It does seem with as dense as it is that it might be really good at packing on shadows. So we will um, we'll definitely give this one a try. Can never have enough brushes. To recap, I received the NCLA nail varnish, the deluxe size sample of the mask from Moulin and Sparrow, the brush from Modern Minerals, The $37 complexion corrector from Mistura Beauty. And the lip crayon from Jing A or Jing I. I feel bad because I'm probably butchering the name of that brand. So all in all, 
according to the prices on the card, we were over a hundred dollars. I have to be honest that this is not my favorite boxycharm box that I have received. I do think I'll like the lip crayon quite a bit. I always enjoy a good mask, so hopefully and and especially one that's unique in a powder form that you mix it with water and apply to the skin so that'll be interesting to try the nail varnish is cute but I don't know how much use I will get out of that and the brush I can always use again not my favorite month from boxycharm but still worth over the $21 that I paid. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video very soon. And if you haven't already subscribed, please put the red button and uh, let me get to know you. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your comments if you also receive BoxyCharm. I'd like to know what you thought of the products. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will stick around and let's get to know each other. And I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video. Bye, everyone.